Hello everyone and welcome to Selling with Corey. As I go through my little sit down series where we chit chat and basically document my journey with my print on demand businesses. Now today we are going to dive more in depth on how my Etsy works with integrating with Printful and how I put those two together and how they kind of mesh and work well together. So with Printful, obviously you do have to have an account that you sign up for, which isn't that bad. It's not like you pay anything. It's a free to have an account with them. And then you integrate that in with your Etsy business account. Now with Etsy, you do have to post something for the first time in order to open up your account to integrate the two. So you are paying 20 cents just to have a pretty much test mock up order design or whatever you want to put up. I just put up a random picture with random text in there because I knew as soon as I opened up my Etsy shop, I was going to be getting rid of it anyway. Now there are videos out there of how you can supposedly get your first 40 designs on Etsy for free. I did not go through any of those. So I guess you could say I did it the hard way kind of thing. Uh, but basically you just integrate your printful with your Etsy little shop and you go ahead and give them permission to post stuff. And Printful is great because if you're like me and you're not a graphic designer, you can just go ahead and do text-based shirts. They do have some clip art that is allowed to use and all of the text and clip art and images, as long as you are not paying for Printful, is commercial use available. So you do not have to worry about getting copyrighted for it, which is obviously the greatest thing ever because there is no type of research you have to do into it unless you go to get your own. There's no worries. You know you can upload it and you can sell it and it's going to be commercial use free. So you don't have to do any research into it, which obviously was a big, big, big selling point for me. I did not want to have to worry about all that. It saved me a lot of time in doing everything when it came to that. Uh, now, obviously with Etsy, every design you put up is 20 cents. So you want to make sure that at the end of the month when they charge you for it or beginning of the month that you have that money in your account because they will charge you for it. Now, if you're like me and you got lucky and you randomly sold a shirt to a family member the first month you had your shop open, providing everything's worked out well and how many listings you have, that pretty much you just either get paid the difference or that's paying for your listings that you put up for the month which is nice. Now, here is a slight downfall using Printful is that you have to pay for that shirt and that shipping and handling before you get paid by Etsy. So basically, you're gonna wanna have some money set aside for that. Now, I put $100 into my Printful wallet to start off with just so that I didn't have to worry about it. You do have to connect a credit card or debit card to that account um, but in the meantime, I put $100 in just to get things started because I didn't expect to make like 20 sales in the first month. You know, thinking realistically, I expected that if I was lucky, I was going to get maybe five sales in my first month. Um, and then I proceeded to order something for myself just to kind of see how that went along, which it's actually pretty cool to see. Uh, so I ordered my one of my own shirts that I had designed and integrated from Printful to Etsy and it automatically links up to Printful where they will show you the orders, they'll show you the status, they'll show you when it's supposed to be shipped out, they'll show you when the customer's supposed to get it, and it is really cool to see. Uh, now, be prepared when you, sh when you basically connect everything over and you post something from Printful to your Etsy shop, it's going to automatically uplink the time frame it's going to take them in order to create the shirt and then ship the shirt and as well as their other products because you can also do pillows and blankets and bean bags and bags and cups and mugs and it, they have all kinds of like household accessories clothing accessories they even have jewelry that you can integrate over to your Etsy account so whatever you're into whatever you want to design Printful more than likely has it for you which is really nice and it's part of the reason why I use them. Now, one of my other concerns was a shirt that I picked was made by a company that I had seen in the past really wasn't that great. Like their products weren't that great. 
and I was kind of concerned about that and I was like you know what I'm gonna test it out I'm gonna give it a shot worst case scenario I have to change my shirts to a different brand and I have to say I was very pleasantly surprised it was hundred percent cotton and it was unisex a lot of my shirts I like using the unisex because then you don't have to worry about having a listing for men and a listing for women and the shirt was a little big I bought it um, and like this size like a little bit of size bigger so it was a little big for me um, but it was super soft I still have it obviously um, it's super soft the design looks good on it and I have to say like I was very pleasantly surprised um, I've ordered a couple of other things from them and it's great I love it so we got a little off topic there but that's why this is kind of a sit down and chit chat moment um, Basically, I put $100 into my Printful wallet for my orders, and then I linked my card to them. That way, if that $100 was gone by chance, they basically had an account to pull that money out of. So keep in mind, you will have to think about that. If someone orders, you're not going to get paid from Etsy with pretty much how you have it set up. So you can have Etsy set up to pay you once a month, every two weeks, or every week. And then if you have it to where it's only like every week, Printful is going to take their money right away. They're not going to wait until you get paid by Etsy. They're going to take their money the minute an order comes in. So keep that in mind when you're doing all of that, which is why I put like $100 into my wallet to get started with. Because I really, like I said, I didn't expect to see a lot of money come out from that. Uh, now, I ordered a shirt um, and then I had a family member order a shirt from me that she really liked. And I had one sale in my first month, one sale in my first month that was not me or a family member. That made me super ecstatic about the whole thing. Uh, it's the only sale I made in my first month. So like I've said before in one of my previous videos, this is not like a make money quick. This is not something you're going to make money, you know, super fast with like a lot of those kind of print on demand gurus do. That's why I'm documenting this as kind of like a realistic approach to it. I don't expect to make a lot of money super quick. I expect it's going to take time. So uh, Etsy is a really good place to start. I know people also do it with Shopify, but I haven't gone that route yet because you have to pay a subscription with them. Um, but Etsy is really nice. You can go in and you can edit everything every step of the way. Edit prices, edit description, edit what it's called. Um, I would not recommend editing the create time and shipping time because Printful gives you those times for a reason. Now you do have to make sure that with Etsy you mark it that it was made by somebody else and not handmade. Now I pretty much had this issue the first week I started uploading stuff. I never saw anything on that and I came across some random video on YouTube that was saying that you needed to do this and I was like oh crap I have all of these designs that say they're being handmade because this is the impression I was under with doing my research that it was all like okay you make it handmade no that's not how it works with Etsy you need to make sure that you put in there that it is made by another company and that you put in Printful's information if you're using Printful. You can also use Printify, which I've never used, but if you're using Printful, you need to put that information in there. Now you can make it private to where the customer doesn't know that you're using Printful specifically. It'll just say that you're using a t-shirt creating company because you don't have, you know, the whole like ability to do it yourself, which is fine. Like that's not gonna deter people from ordering it from you at least from what I've heard. <laughs> but basically just make sure you put in there that it is made by Printful and not by you. So it's a lot of kind of information. It's a lot of things that you have to integrate between Printful and Etsy, but I do feel like it's worth it. And it's nice because you don't have to worry about a specific size for the design. Um, as I've said in one of my previous videos, I have bought designs off of Etsy that are free for, well not free, but I had to buy a license to make them good for commercial use, to make them good to use for print-on-demand services like Printful. And I don't have to doctor them up or anything. I basically just move them into the Printful area and I can resize them right on the shirt, 
which is great. I don't have to hold on to the templates. I can create it and integrate it into my Etsy shop all in one smooth move. So Etsy is pretty much, if you're just starting out, that is my recommendation is to start out with them. Uh, like I said, it is 20 cents each design you upload. So based on your budget, we'll kind of determine obviously how many designs that you want to upload. And I think that's pretty much it starting out. Um, I'll probably do an update video beginning of August as to how I've made it out. Now I have been doing this for a little over a month. Um, so in August, I will probably do an update video as to how the month of July went, which from what I hear from everybody, July is kind of a slower month, I guess, for the print on demand services. So the second half of the year is supposed to be a little bit quicker, I guess. We'll have to wait and see how my little you know, print on demand business does with Etsy. But this is pretty much the introduction on how you wanna integrate the two. Now, I do plan on the beginning of the month talking about how I did for the month of July, what my goals are for the month of August, and how I want everything to go through and what I've done to try to help get traffic towards my store. And yeah, we will basically go from there and we'll talk some more about it next month. I hope you found this video somewhat amusing or helpful, anything, like I said before, I'm not trying to discourage anybody from doing this because clearly I am doing it, I'm still doing it. I do think it's a good idea. It just requires more work than what people like to give out or like to make it seem like it's some quick, easy thing to do and it's really not. It does require a little bit of work, but don't let that discourage you. If you wanna do this, I say do it go for it. Don't let your insecurities hold you back. I mean, the worst that could happen is you don't make any money. Not a big deal. Just go for it. So like I said before, I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Next, I will be talking about my merch by Amazon. And next month, I will be talking about how basically July went for me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.